Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as AI based gender identification using facial features, which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, generally, in AI based automation system, uh, gender based classification through facial images is gaining more importance in recent time due to various applications. So here in this project the authors have made the gender based identification using the uh, Viola Jones face recognition algorithm and then they have used CNN model for the a based gender identification using facial features but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about the our proposed system so here in the proposed abstract you can see that we have implemented the AI based gender identification using facial features using matlab and we are going to implement it using the alexnet cnn model so this is the proposed architecture that we are going to implement in our system that is AlexNet CNN architecture and we have achieved an accuracy of 98.75 percentage. So the first data set will be given to the system and after that we will be making the pre-processing and after that the phase reduction will be done and after that the classification of the of, uh, facial recognition gender classification will be done and after that the performance analysis will be done so these are all the things that is mentioned in the abstract part so coming to the existing system so now we are taking the base paper as an existing system so here they have used Viola Jones face recognition algorithm so the details about the existing system is given and after that we have mentioned about the disadvantages of the existing system so these are all the disadvantages of the existing that has been listed out here and coming to the proposed system so the combo the proposed system as mentioned we are going to develop using alexnet cnn model and uh, the details of the proposed system is being mentioned here and then comes the advantages of the proposed system so we are listed the advantages of the proposed system and comes the system architecture so in the system architecture you can find the input image and after that we will be using phase detection using the computer vision and or region of interest extraction that is phase region extraction is done and after the pre-processing of the phase region resizing is done and after that it is processed with the alexnet cnn model and after that the gender classification result is being displayed here so here you can see the modules of the project which contains image acquisition, phase detection, pre-processing, gender classification and the performance measure. So as mentioned we have used uh, uh, MATLAB. So this is the hardware and software requirements and we have used MATLAB. So you can use MATLAB or 2021A or the latest one MATLAB or 2023B. So now let us execute the project. So just open the MATLAB or 2023B. Now you can go to the source code location. Uh, so here in the data set part you can see the folders male and female. So just let me open the male folder. You can see these are all the images that we are going to train up the system. So these are all the male images and coming to the other classification that is female part. So this is the female images that we are going to train up the system. So now just copy the source code location. So go into the source code location. So this is the full coding. This is the folder name. Just copy the source code location. Now just open MATLAB or 2023B. So just in address bar, paste the location that we have copied and click enter. So now in the left side panel, you can see the code has been loaded. So just select the final dot yum and then right click it and then click run. So now you can see the GUI of the project which contains the project title AI based gender identification using facial features. The first thing is like uh, you can will be making the training process. So just click this training process. Now you can see the sample images will be loaded into that system. So the final image here will be loaded after a few seconds. It takes some time for it. Kindly wait for that till it don't do anything. So 
so now you can see the final image is also loaded after that you can kindly wait for a few seconds so the training window will be open so now you can see the training progress so the training time and the date has been displayed initially so this is the training progress window where you can see the date current date 21st September 2023 and time you, here you can see the training iteration there are 50 epochs given so there are 50 iterations so the one by one the iteration will be done here you can see the accuracy and loss so here you can see the start time elapsed time and training cycle epochs and iterations per epoch maximum iterations frequency and other uh, informations of the uh, being displayed here so here you can see the accuracy training and validation and loss for training smooth training and validation part so it maximum it may take uh, eight minutes to up to ten minutes depends upon your system configuration so kindly wait till the process has been completed So now the training iteration is going to complete 50 out of 50 as I said it took around 7 minutes for me so it varies according to your system requirements and now you can see the final results on it so the training process is now completed so in case if you wanted to save this result you can just click this export as image so here you can uh, let me save this in a desktop as training and uh, here you can see the image is now saved exported on the desktop and now you can see the training was the network was trained message and click ok so the training process has been completed so this is required this is not required to run every time so you can just click the load network and you can just load the network uh, uh, because it takes more time if you're going for uh, uh, making the training process every time when you're executing so you can just click this load network so the network the model will be automatically loaded so you can see the train network loaded message and click ok so now let me go to the first the training process so just click this training process so now you can just go to the test images and you can just uh, select the images that you have wanted or you can also go to the data set part and you can select the images i'll show you with the both the cases and just go to the test case now so let me select an image so once the image is selected you can see the test image here first and after that uh, you can see the face detection and after that you can see the roi region extraction and after that you can see the pre-processed result so after the pre-process our the main concept the gender classification based on alexnet has been done and here you can see it is classified as female and here you can see the result of it also in the image and also you can see the printed score of it so once if you wanted to check it again so now let me uh, run this final dot yam again so now this time i'll just load the network i'm not going to run the training process each and every time because it takes more time so now you can see the train network loaded successful message and click ok so now let me go to the testing process and now in the test image let me select an image this image and now you can see the test image you can see the complete message click ok so you can see the test image phase detection roa region extraction pre-process result and you can see the gender classification which is classified as male and you can see the result here also male and printed score of it with 0 0.9999982 and now let me click the test pro let me this time i go to the data set folder i'll go to the mail folder let me select an image here this image and now you can see the image that i have selected the face reduction part the roa region extraction the pre-process result and here you can see the gender classified as male and here you can see the result as male and you can see printed score as one so now let me go to the testing process again let me go to the data set folder again let me go to the female folder let me select uh, an image and now you can see the test image that i selected the face detection or a region extraction pre-process result and the gender classified result as female and you can see the result of female and predicted score is one 
so now you can ask me a question so what happens if i'm going to give some other image so only it accepts the images of the human face if you are giving some other an object image uh, it shows some random result only because we cannot train up the system with all the images that is available in the all over world so only you need to give the images of the human face which is clarity and also you should uh, select an image that should be size is very small if it is very larger size it may not give the correct result so uh, when you're giving some other images make sure that you have the given the correct size. i'll show you with the sample example so let me go to the browser let me type j lalita let me type this name and go for the images format so now in the tools i'll just select small size so i'll click the final option icon so this is the small size image so now let me save this image so it is around the dimension is 225 into 225 so make sure that you have this kind of size with a good clarity so now let us check with this, Im this image so let me click the testing process and go to the desktop i'll just select this image so you can see the image that i have given and it is completed so now you can see the test image the face detection image the roa region extraction pre-process result and gender classification is female and you can see the predicted score of it so in the data set part you can see that we have not given this image so this is an image these are the images that we have trained up with so this is an outside image without the data set so in case if you are giving in this way you can just check get the results correctly in case if there is uh, if they are not giving the correct size so we not get the correct result so now let me check with some other cases so now let me give an image of this so this is the test image i have given and here you can see the face detection roa region extraction pre-process result and the gender classification is male and the predicted score is one so this image is also not available in the train data set so this is all the outside images that i have taken from the internet sources so let me give this a second image so this is the image i have given this test image the face detection roa region extraction pre-process result and the gender classification using alexnet seen as male and the predicted score is one so now let me give some other images from the internet source I just downloaded from the internet so so let me give the this image so this is the test image and this is the face detection this is the ROI and pre-process result and the gender classification result is female and printed score is one so finally let me show you with the uh, final image of this and this is the test image i have given the face detected part and the ROA region extraction pre-process result and you can see the gender classification made by the alexnet is male and you can see the printed score of it so in this way you can check with the images that is available in the test folder on the data set folder or in case if you wanted to give some other issues also whatever the conditions i said you just check with that so now let me move to the final part that is the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis part and kindly wait for a few seconds because it makes some calculation for the performance analysis so you care in the models part you can see the performance analysis part will be showing about the accuracy error rate precision recall recall that is uh, precision that is a uh, recall sensitivity specificity and f score and mcc that is matthews correlation coefficient so these calculations whatever mentioned will be done here so here you need to wait till you see this completed message and click ok so once if it is okay now first let me show you the figure one so this contains the gender classification result with predicted score so here you can see the few sample images with the image female is 100 percentage male 100 percentage male 100 percentage male 100 percentage so maximum you can see it is 100 percentage on one or two with 92 percentage so everything is predicted correctly and coming to the second that is the confusion matrix so here you can see the confusion matrix of the project which contains the male and female true and predicted case of the both the classes and uh, final comes the performance analysis of the alexnet so which contains the accuracy of the alexnet the model that we have developed which contains around 0.9875 error rate with 0.0125 precision with 0.9773 specificity with 0.9730 sensitivity to 1 f1 score with 0.9885 and mcc value with 0.9751 and in the console part you can see the command prompt in the, com the command window you can see the those calculations and the results of it on also 
so this is all about the project a based gender identification using facial features using matlab and thank you for watching